All right, we're gonna look at an animal encounter today. I was out in the woods yesterday and I came across a, uh, an animal that I know what it is, but if you don't spend a lot of time in the woods and you don't live where I live, you may not. So let's take a look, jump right in, and we'll engage our scientific mind with animal encounters. All right, guys, in this animal encounters video, I want to show you an animal that a lot of people will call a fisher cat. Now, it's known just as a fisher, and uh, it lives in the northeast part of the United States and all across the uh, Canadian wilderness. But if you don't spend a lot of time in the woods, you may not have ever seen one before. And so what I want you to do is to watch this little clip that I filmed yesterday, and I want you to think, what evidence is there to support the fact that this is a type of cat or related to a cat? And maybe what evidence is there to show you that maybe it's not? So um, what do you know about cats? What do you know about a fisher? What do you know about organisms that look like this? Drop something like that down in the comments. Let me know what evidence do you have? What observations have you made? What questions do you have? in thinking like a scientist to say whether or not we should include the word cat at the end of Fisher. And if not, should we replace it with something else? Or what evidence leads us to believe that it's related to another organism we may know? Hey, if you're a teacher using these animal encounters or thinking like scientist videos, you can go down to the bottom and skip right ahead to the part you want to share with your students. Uh, but this particular one is a fisher, which is part of the weasel family. And there's evidence there if you want to show kids videos of other weasels like uh, the minks, the ermine, short-tailed weasel, maybe um, pull up a video of a wolverine and ask them to make compare and contrast. How can they observe? What do they notice? What features are visible? What evidence can they observe? Or what scientific course of action would they suggest to solve the problem, to answer the question, to come up with a better explanation? And just a real quick science teacher tip for you. If you don't know how to engage this next-gen science standards, the basic idea is this. Help kids suck less at explaining natural phenomena in the world around them. So if you present phenomena, which could be anything, uh, then your goal is to actually help them explain it with evidence and reasoning. So that claim evidence reasoning model. And then sometimes we can experiment to gain more data, but other times we just need to observe more. And that the goal is not being right necessarily, but about being less wrong or more specific in our explanations. So I hope that helped. If you're looking for an example of this, um, you can check out any of the other animal encounters or thinking like a scientist videos uh, that I've done. I'll put a link to that playlist right up here. But I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys kick some class this year with your students and we'll catch you next time.